Hey everyone, um, just uh, just a huge welcome really, uh, it's uh, been a while since I went on Twitch, I just thought uh, today would actually be um, uh, a good day for it, uh, to try it out as well. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing uh, a road test, which is uh, something I've kind of thought of. Um, basically, we have a uh, regional coming up, as everyone is um, very, very aware of, and that regional is taking place over the weekend. And uh, one of the things that I've tried to have time to do is just basically test and test and test. And uh, um, I actually concentrated, I have to say, on um, what, um, what my daughter uh, is playing in juniors. I haven't actually uh, had a chance to look at anything that uh, could be coming up in Masters. And uh, there is a very, very strong chance that's just to come about over the last day or so um, that, uh, that, that uh, uh, could allow me to play. So uh, obviously trying to figure out what to do uh, in, the, in the given situation, while that kind of uh, stabilises, I thought I'd also try and put together um, a, a, a deck that's receiving a lot of hype at the moment, and that is uh, Laurentis Tapabulu. Now, Laurentis Tapabulu, I'm just going to go through the deck very, very quickly. Um, so it is a grass deck. Uh, not very much at the moment is countering grass. Um, we've got, uh, it's obviously a standard uh, tournament as well. Start off with Flamantis. I didn't actually know that Flamantis doesn't have an R inside it. Um, but that's just that's just by the by. Uh, so you start off with Synthesis. Very, very strong attack. Uh, very solid um, to try and get um, uh, Grass Energy on the board. Very nice to combine uh, its evolution with uh, Ultra Ball. So you could actually Ultra Ball Energy away back into your discard pile and you can just attach two basic energy cards and it's straight onto the board as well. The Rantis GX, as, well, as I say, with, without the uh, presence of uh, fire, is a very, very strong, very, very strong uh, attacker as well. You can uh, clear up really with Coruscant GX as well. Solar Blade with 120 may not necessarily get the numbers right, but now what we've actually got in the format too is Lorantis, and Lorantis promo will be legal uh, this weekend. It was actually legal for tournaments last weekend as well. Um, but something that makes a big difference for this weekend's regionals is Tapu Bulu. So I managed to get some Tapu Bulu. Huge that it doesn't have any weakness. It's got Tapu Wilderness, which heals all damage, so you can just... Uh, carry on the attack for the second time round. Uh, this is a Tapalile killer, I have found. Nature Judgment as well, uh, to hit for 180. So, uh, can can really rack up the numbers if you actually combine that with Lorantis. Now, uh, the deck list that I've used has been borrowed from a friend of mine, um, Pavli Mezzo, who runs um, uh, Tablemon. So, if you can give them uh, a quick like and subscribe, that would be great. Um, thank you, Pablo, for uh, for popping that up. And it's just a standard deck straight after that. It's your usual, usual supporters. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Um, only one choice band because you get the numbers up with Durantis and Fighting Fury about to try and concentrate on the type of cake. So this is a road test. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try and basically play this from scratch. I haven't tested this deck out at all. Um, I just want to try and uh, have it. Uh, played from an educational point of view as well and we'll see how it goes so we've got uh, literally a couple of hours now and uh, let's see uh, let's see how it goes okay r77777 Uh, we're going to start off with uh, formatus. We need to try and set things up. Uh, 
And it looks as though we've got a Tapu Bulu deck with Vicavolt, or it could be a Vicavolt GX deck. It's going to be quite interesting to see what to do next, but let's put the, um, let's put the fan club out. I've seen no other supporters at this moment in time. <clears throat> It'd be interesting to put the Siddhu Wudu out at this moment. Uh, I think we're definitely going to be bringing out the Four Mantis. And I would like to start off with a solid start for Mantis. Uh, I'm going to put the type of Bulu just to try and get some um, Elixir magic going. I should do that. Okay, uh, I think if I get uh, Lysander that's going to be a problem. So uh, I'm going to be attaching to the active. He's going to be doing Horn Attack which is 30 which is not too bad. Not GX just yet. So I'm going to uh, feel like holding on to the shaman just in case but I think it's alright. Okay, I should get a faster start. Um I'm gonna put the choice ban onto the Durantis. I'm just thinking maybe I could have put the choice ban onto a Tapabulu, but I think I'm gonna be able to get uh, large numbers anyway. Uh, I'm gonna be Max Lixing as well. Wow. This is amazing. Amazing speed. I'm just gonna put it on the Bulu. Um got uh, Ultra Ball as well, so I could Lele next turn. Um, I'm just going to pass. Okay, right, so we've got Field Blur. Now, uh, taking down the Grubbin is going to be really huge, actually. I do wonder why he sacrificed that. Um, we could... Well, we're definitely going to bring up the Lurantis. And uh, we could do a Nature's Judgment straight on him. Um, I am going to float stone back. I think he did do a uh, uh, field blower just beforehand. So I'm going to take out that float stone back at him. And I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to hit him. Nature judgment straight up. Uh, no, I don't want to discard all the energy.
Okay, um... What have we got? We got, uh... My opponent's just trying to recover, set up again. Okay, right. I think I think the grubbins are key really. I'm not gonna be greedy at all on this one. Um Definitely going to try and set up another um Lorantis. I I don't really want to uh I don't really want to put another Bulu out. I think that's, that's a lovely start, and I'm um, not quite sure what he's doing. Maybe, maybe he's just got a really, um, a really bad time. Oh, okay. All right. Apologies for that. I was trying to figure out what's uh, what um, what to do to try and uh, spread the message. So, do apologize for that. Okay. Right. So I could um, let's see. I haven't played a, a Lysander, and uh, I would be doing hundred hundred and eighty. Uh, just I, I I think if I just if I just Lysander that out, it's it's going to be game anyway. So. I'm not even going to bother with field blow up. I think if I was him, I would probably just give up at this stage. So that has to be a game. It has to be, has to be. And what I'll then be able to do is I'll be able to. Um... It's a shame I don't have the Laurentis promo, um, but I'm going to discard all the energy in there. Oh right, I just suddenly realised why you have to put field uh, floatstone on the um, on the Tapabuli because obviously it's got three retreat cuts, so that's part and parcel of road testing. Okay, so uh, but we should be able to recover somehow. I could field blow up. Uh, forgotten how many floatstones I've got. But uh, it's now going to be a race, a race against time. Um, let's have a look. I think with two prizes, I, I should be able to do it anyway. Should be able to secure something with the Lamantis. I think it's probably going to be Lysandry or something anyway. Come join us on the chat. Uh, it's the first time that we're actually, um, I'm actually doing Twitch, so it'd be really nice to to have. Um, have some company on the chat. Go in the chat room. And all of this will be available on uh, on our YouTube channel. It's going to be uploaded, hopefully. It's part and parcel of the trial. So... 
It's securing the other two uh, prizes now. I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough board control. And uh, if any of the viewers know how to help me put the uh, chat onto the window, that would be great. I know how to do it on YouTube, but I'm not very familiar with uh, being able to do it on uh, Twitch. In actual fact, I could actually do that. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to put some, uh, uh, I'm going to keep a record of all of the um, uh, matchups that I'm playing, which I think is going to be really, uh, really good to, to, to keep track of. So I think the first one was uh, Tapu uh, Bulu. Um, uh, what was it? Grubbin Vikavolt. Vikavolt, wasn't it? Yeah. Bear with me. Okay. Right. Hopefully, having like a little record here will uh, will help keep track of um, the progress in this road test, which I think is going to be really, um, really, really interesting to, to keep track of. Right, okay, we're going to go straight into the next game. Play. Missed it. Alvin. <laughs> Alvin Fu. I assume that's Alvin Fu and not anything else. <laughs> that would be quite, quite offensive. Especially for uh, for a for a nice day as it is today. Okay, right. So uh, it is obviously float. Float stone on the Tapu Bulu. We got the one uh, fighting fury belt as well, so we can keep that in mind now. Just keeping an eye on the Formantis count here. Oh wow, amazing! So I'm not even sure what he was playing. Maybe a fighting deck. Fighting is wheat grass, I think. Anyway, so. Do, do I even bother putting that in? Uh, let's see what his deck was. It was a carving Zygarde. Oh, yeah, Zygarde. Zygarde, Lycanroc. And I think it would just be a straight... It would be a slaughter. That's what it would be. There we go. Every single thing weak to grass. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm actually going to put that on there. I'm going to put it on there. My God. Uh, what was it? Carving? No, it was Zygarde like rock. There we go. Oh, Zygarde EX? Yeah, it's Zygarde EX. Okay, right. So, bingo. Right. That's the that's the second one. Let's keep going. Is it worth me having a little quick quick flick through just in case? Uh, just in case. No one saying no on the chat. So this is what I'm playing at the moment. Got that Sudo Woody. We all forget about Sudo Woody. I hope you can see that. Looking through it. There we go. All right. All right. Play there. It's game three.
so we're searching. And Siri Monster. Um, I'm liking the deck. I really am liking the deck. And the reason why I'm liking the deck is because it's really stable at the start. You know, you're finding your Fermantis. Uh, Tapu Bulu is not a bad starter. Here's our first first view of Lorantis. Get trying to get the extra numbers. Okay. Okay, right. Uh oh, this is interesting. Um And not going for so I could have put Tapu there just hit for 30, I suppose. Maybe. But um uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's all about road test. Uh Ultra Ball could go Ultra Ball. So, alright, yeah, in retrospect, what I would have done is I would have put Tapu Bulu, Active, Ultra Ball, the Sudowoodoo, and the Grass Energy, and then Super Rodded them back. Or even Rescue Stretcher, but I do want to save quite a few of these, so, um, yeah, so in retrospect. But, uh, but I think, I think, yeah, Strampa may be, oh, yeah, as well, he's, he's got, he's got, probably got, um, trainers in there too. Right, uh, right, okay, let's get rid of Rescue Stretcher because I don't need Rescue Stretcher right now. And let us find uh, Tapu Lele, and we can end. And that just comes about with familiarity anyway. This is, this is a road test, so we're just trying to figure it out. Uh, come on in, let's go for N. Yeah, no, I wouldn't worry about it. Wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, right. Well, we got the float stone anyway, so oh for goodness sake! I'm sure that was a float stone. Never mind. <laughs> Lol. Uh, click done. Do I do I quit now? Sorry. Pret pretend we didn't have the float stone. Oh, it's just awful, isn't it? Alright, okay. Well, this, is, this is really weird anyway. He's probably wondering what the heck is he putting a choice ban on Sudu Woody for? And you know what? I'm kind of thinking that as well. I'm just going to quit that one. I'm not even going to entertain it. It's just that uh, I've got the mouse over here. And it just, I was hovering over the float stone and it just suddenly dragged the choice ban, so let's just forget that. I even said it as well. That was just stupid. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's an anomaly. I don't know what happened there. Um, I was thinking the other day, um, you know, what what would what what uh, what would people think about um, like a take back option? Um, a take back option. I think they used to have like an undo option. Um, I'd like him to waste the my sander if he does have it. All right, okay. I think this is uh, evolution Garbador. Which is something I've been play testing quite extensively um, because I just like the deck at the moment. He's going to try and confuse me that thing. But going first is not not optimal um, because you can't you can't confuse off the bat. I do have the Lorantis in hand anyway. So what 
to do? Um, I always found that Tapu Bulu one. So pressure's on to perform on this one. Okay, right. With all oh, right, well he did do the nice sound. That's absolutely fine, as anticipated. All right, okay. So, nice waste of the Lysander. I was happy with that. Um, I think I can do with my hand at this moment in time, so I'm just gonna end. Choice band would be nice to get rid of. And what is um, Fematis's attack? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so. Thinking, um, it would be nice. Yep, obviously that. Oh, I wanted to feel blow as well. I didn't like that choice, man. And I'm kind of tempted, kind of tempted to um, put the fighting fury belt onto the uh, Tapabulu. Really, am tempted. Discarding my own uh, float stone as well. Yeah, do you know what? I can do it. I'm gonna do it. I've just got a gut feeling that that is going to be a lot more, um, a lot more useful. Pop it on there. I've got those scraps in them. Thank you. I'm <coughs> Well, that's a questionable choice anyway. I think it's unexpected to see our trainers now, so I'm thinking. What have we lost? Lost something. So I can never find space for some uh, for the trainers now. Man, I think the float's there on the shaman now. I'll make it just empty time, but I'm gonna put it on the troubles myself. We don't have much time. Bomb carrier spotted. I'm in position. Defusing the bomb. Come on, come okay. on, come right. on. So we'll do a straight psychic sixty. Should I have kept the float stone on the Tapu Bulu? Maybe I should have. So 60, 120, it will sustain 120 next turn, so. Should be alright, should be okay. Um, full attack. No, but he's got choice man as well. Um, just thinking, thinking loudly. All right, let's commit. Um, oh, that is just awful. So could have um, ultra ball the grass energy away to secure the basic. All right, okay. Got on the taboo. Lele for maybe a fan club. So I could have done that. Mm. So maybe that would have been a, a better play. I think it would have been. But it's just part of road testing. Part of road testing is about making mistakes um, because you haven't played the deck before. And you're trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, whether this is actually something that is uh, up there. See, how many trainers have I got? I've got to keep an eye on that. So I've got 80 in there. It's not looking good, but oh, awful, awful. Yeah. 
Well, there's the field blower that blows the um, fight period out of the way. So it would have been um, irrelevant if I had the float stone on there. Okay, right. Finish him. So I think that's Hesky on GS Guard. Yeah, that can come up there. Right, we go straight into another one. And at the same time, I'm trying to put the chat on as well, so you do bear with me. I'm just trying to figure out the kind of put the chat on it as well. Fatality. All right. Okay. So we start off with Tapadui. And this time I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to start attaching some Tapadui now. Oh wow. Okay. So that's nice. A wishy washy. Wow. Okay. So. Let's think about this. Um, I would like to get a fan club. Um, um, I would like to get a fan club. Um, Problem. I like all of the cards. I actually really, really like all of the cards. Is Max Elixir going to be key to this one? Alright, okay, let's just take out Max Elixir. Um, Tepilene, let's see what we got. We do have the fan club, but I'm just concerned that I'm not going to be able to have anything after that, so it's probably going to have to be for the N. And I saved a, a VS Seeker as well. That's a real shame. If I didn't have the Lurantis in hand, I would have done it. Hey! Oh my, he's live on Twitch. How you doing, mate? I'm just doing road tests at the moment. Um, Matt, I'm trying to figure out how to put the chat on uh, on there as well. Do, is it even necessary? I don't know. I'm going to save. I really, really want to get. on screen I never use it as preference. Oh was it in preferences? I have no idea what I'm doing. If it's on there. <laughs> okay, uh alright. So 
I just realised I'm being attacked by a wishy washy. To apologise. Um. How how do you do that, by the way? Yes, I know. Fifteen seconds left. Um. Okay, let's put the Lysander there. Do I need the Tapabulu? No, I don't need the Tapabulu. Fine. This time I'm going to get um, a Formantis. Because I need a Formantis. And then next time I can actually... End. So hyped for Birmingham. Hey, guess what, Matt? I actually discovered I'm able to play in Birmingham. <laughs> uh, so, I do wonder what to play. Did I have that fan club? playing Garb I presume. Uh, I don't know. This is looking quite cool. If I get my head round it, I've actually got the bullies. I wanted to... Uh, I didn't have any MG anyway. I tested Sylvia to drop it this close and stick it to my guns. <laughs> Sylveon's a brave choice. Uh, Matt, help me with this chat. Come on, you said you said you'd help me with the chat. I know how to do it on YouTube. I've got like like OBS browser source or something like that. But wait, did I? Yes, you did. You said get on to get on to Twitch. Freddy, it's much better. And I said, I don't know how to do the chat. And you said, I'll help you through it. You did, honestly. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, do you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna absorb. Do I need to? He's got 180. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with that. How on earth is he gonna power that up? Oh, Max Elixir, I love you. And how you can only attach the basics. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's just get his shaman. Because you can't heal. Chat on screen is boring though. You don't need it. Do I not need it? You sure? I don't know. I like it, it looks great. I'm getting washy, yeah. <laughs> the problem is I'm still learning how to play this deck. That's useful. I'm getting washy. Oh my gosh, he's got gold duck. What a sick, sick, sick person. Does he actually know what Wishy Washy does? Okay, right. Okay, uh. <laughs> 150. 
150, we'll do 160, 180, or Nature's Judgment will do 180, 190, 210, so bye bye. All these energies as well. And I think I'll have that. How uh, do you like them apples? Floatstone on something. Pop that on there. And if I've done it right, it was a field blower. Lucky Freddy found the field blower in time. I'm so glad that would have been embarrassing. Yeah, I know, but you know, you know, I would, I would find, I would find the field blower, right? And I've got the Olympia. There we go. <laughs> yes, I do want to knock him out. And come on, let's see the victory screen. Come on, victory screen. There we go, victory screen. All right, so I was very, very lucky with the field blower. Okay, but then again, it's wishy washy. So. Okay, so I think we'll chalk that up. What was it? I don't even know what deck that was. What was that deck? It was a, whoa, it was a Lapras, Golder, Golder Break, Wishy Washy. The guy put all his cash on Wishy Washy. There we go. Wow, what a sick deck. Okay, so uh, let's add, let's let's chalk that one up as well. Uh, what do we do? It's like Lapras, GX, Wishy, uh, Golduck. Uh, I'm sure there was some kind of strange combination with um, that, that is out there with wishy washing, but that wasn't that wasn't the case. It wasn't meant to be. Right. Okay. Straight into another game. Let's do it. If I do play this deck, <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to improve. I like I like nice styles like this. I don't have to think about the style. Two full mantis and then an M. That's fine. <laughs> don't play Fungary Belt. Ooh, a hex maniac might be interesting. Gumby, oh what a sick, sick, sick person. Contest myself if you want. I don't mind. I don't mind. The problem is I think it will be heavily weighted in Lorantis' favour. Um, reason being that uh, I've just got the recovery, so I'll just I just um, stack energies on um, Lorantis and just go to town with that. I mean, you test my list. Oh gosh, the number of. Sylveon games I have put in, honestly, because Sylveon was actually Summer's, um, Summer's, uh, we're going to have like, like a 10 minute turn from him anyway, so I think I can that the game, um, was actually Summer's uh, first deck in this format, and it just died horribly, I'll be, I'll be honest. The map mask deck list. No, I do not have the map mask deck list. I do not have the map mask deck list.
Oh, he's got your mega. That's interesting. So he's hoping. Oh my god! On earth did he do? He played everything down. Oh great! That was his first turn. That was his first turn. Um. So I'm not going to be playing tools this game. So sod the fury belt. Best we make with jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, Great Neptune's man. what have we got? We got a pseudo we can actually get our pseudo woody guy. Um, come on then. Um, let's just see what Lorantis does again. Save the blade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have flower supply. Uh, flower, flower supply game. I can get the rest. I can get the formantis. I'm anticipating that the formantis is gonna be knocked out next turn anyway because it does seventy. If he gets up down to four, I need to play out my hand anyway. So I'm gonna put that on the bulu. Right, okay, um... Is there going to be an inconvenience with... And Solar Bay also heals as well, so... That would be, that would be useful as well. Alright, okay, so let's make a decision. Synthesis. I'm going to put it on the, um... Oh. What if he Lysanders? He can't Lysander and Judge at the same time. So, alright, let's put it on the Formantis. Stop the yarn punching me this time. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I think Sudo Willy would actually also cause him a little bit of um, uh, an inconvenience as well because he, cause what he might want to do is he might want to play things like Unknown. I don't know if he plays Unknown. Yes, he does play Unknown. So if you Sudo Willy, you can't actually play the Unknown. So, oh gosh, I'm really tempted to do something there. Um, so if I rescue stretch with the Sudowili, he'll not be able to put um, Shaman down next. 
He doesn't have to judge anyway, so... Uh, okay. Alright, let's, let's get some, um... Let's get some grass in the discard pile. I really, really, really am tempted to get the, um... Sudowoodoo back in. Um, alright, but we can do that at a later stage. Well, I'm going to be... I'm, I don't want to super rod the energy back in, obviously. So... Uh, what I could do as well is I could pour a uh, solar blade in as well. Because that Yanmega is going to get a little hungry. Um, which is what I'm going to be doing, I think. Yeah, that's just something about that Sudowoodoo. I think it's going to be really important. going down tomorrow friends I'm heading to test if you down no I'm not unfortunately because I've just got things to do unfortunately oh look at that hex chain I've got look at that hex chain that's insane do I want to end I don't want to end end is actually going to help him now on the bench. That's quite nice. Alright. Um, yeah, flower supply would do 60. So lovely. It's just so lovely. No, I've got, um, I've got an interesting weekend, actually. So, basically, on uh, the Saturday, which is when we're going to go down, um, I'm now playing. Hopefully. So I did speak to uh, I did speak to Yasmin, my wife, who um, I, I I do I do listen to what she says most of the time, and I think at some point she said that she wasn't working, but that was months ago. And how am I supposed to remember that? So I assume that she wasn't she was working on the Saturday, and that's the reason why she wasn't able to look after Summer. Because if she was able to look after Summer, then I could play the main event. And it's also um, the Muslim month of Ramadan as well. It's, it's uh, we're, we're fasting, so I'm actually playing this without food and drink. I don't know whether you, you might think that that's actually. Yeah, I know all the league cups though, but you know what? Oh, let me just let me just finish the story. So, um, so Saturday I'll be playing. God willing, and then. Um, Sunday and uh, Saturday, summer will be playing. Now, Sunday is something really interesting. No, I can't drink water. Stop being so. Ah! Oh, stop being so Caucasian. No, I cannot drink water. <laughs> so Caucasian. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just concentrate on this one. I need uh, I need a I need a, oh, need a flipping I need a f oh I don't want to get rid of all of that it's gorgeous uh, all right okay I'm just gonna have to hex right I'll hex because it's so good right. Uh, is there anything that I need from there? No. Now, what's he got in there? He's got four in the discard pile. Potentially, potentially. Oh, I just hexed cool Poco. I just hexed. That's gonna knock me out. What a uh, 
flipping Tapu Lele. It's because I didn't have the grass energy. Oh, so annoying I didn't have grass energy. Okay, right. So what I could do is hex again. All right, okay, that's why I did it. Uh, 20, 40, 60, uh, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So you can add 60. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Lots of hugs. Let's rescue Stretcher. Should we just bring it back? Because let's face it, Tapu Bulu is the broken. Um, the problem is I still haven't got I still haven't got the, 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 the energy and if I hex I'm not going to be able to knock him out with Chlora Scythe uh, how many prizes does he have he's got four and I will End him straight into full prize, uh, full cards in the hand. Oh gosh! Right, okay. Um, let's just put a second. So I need those two prizes. Oh my! Camera has the slot box in with joy. I'm not spending. How much is that? It's probably like about fifty pounds. I'm not spending that much money on stuff that's just about to be rotated out. You're talking about the, um, Fiddy. 50 pounds. You're talking about the one with the Manetric and the, uh, Mega Lucario, aren't you? Aren't you? Jolting on this hella pretty though. Yeah, I know Jolting on this hella pretty though. The, do you know what the great news is? Jolting on Half Arts are now ducking down to 8 pounds. As a result of that, I'm getting my butt kicked in. Here. Nice. Okay, do I just hex, hex again? Let's. Oh, come on! Where is my energy? Oh gosh, right. Oh. So he's doing a hundred a turn. What am I afraid of? Why don't I just um, solar blade and heal? And hex. What's he doing? He's doing 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So he can only do 90. Let's just hex. Stand up again. How many times have we said that in this format? You said you said N. Mm. Well, I'm hoping. Mm, maybe, maybe. No, no, I can't. Couldn't couldn't end him into four. He would still be able to attack as well. So, worst case scenario. Yamega. I like Yamega. Yamega's so nice. I couldn't get enough Yamega breaks to play it at the time. It was just so good. Yamega, best queen. He's got. I'm so glad that he evolved all of those because if he didn't evolve those, he would have discarded them. And if he discarded them. Oh, great. 
he is the stylist of that. I'm just gonna watch it because he's just gonna do this huge combo sycamore two four five six seven eight nine ten ten so we could do 120 Oh, that's a shame. I wanted that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if I if I just oh, this is so annoying. Oh, flipping Laurentis. So I want to add an extra 20. And I need to, I need to, um, I need to, I need to get that up and running as well. So annoying, so annoying. So I don't have the energy for it. Greninja, I'm not playing Greninja. Uh, let's just hex him. Uh, he's got 11 in his discard, I think. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he can just knock it out with Vesper Quinn, that's the problem. Right, I'm going to have to sit for I have to get the energy on Tapu Billy. Let's just feel blow with that stupid thing. Because uh, he's going to end me. I know it. So, let's go with that one. Okay, cool. It's a one turn. It's a one turn game. Yeah, but. I've got the type of bully now, so and I did heal as well, which makes a big difference. But that's three in the discard as well, so it doesn't make a difference if you know what I mean. He can he can knock me out with Vesper Quinn. If he knocks me out with Vesper Quinn, then I can attach the energy. If he doesn't. If he doesn't end me. If I was him, however, I would end. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of those VS Seekers, but I was just forced to because of the, um, the lack of energy in my hand. However, I do have an out. I do have for Mantis. Um, and I could... It all depends. No, it wouldn't work either. It's down to this turn. What's the... What's, what can I do with that? I can do Nature's Judgment and knock, knock whatever is coming out of that. Oh! oh!
Okay, let's do it. I think we've got two turns to do this. Seriously? Seriously? And what I could have done is I could have kept it and then he would have retreated Lysander it back up again. I could have done that. Um, but I'm a complete idiot anyway. And anyway, I couldn't get the, I couldn't get the MD, so. And he had the choice band in hand anyway, so arguably not have the choice band in hand but the chances were there. Anyway, that was just stupid. Oh Okay, right, so Yan Mega Um Vespi. Because I couldn't get any energy and N N down to N was just really silly anyway, so what can I do? N to N. This is, this is supposed to be a fun game. <laughs> Can Mega is always good. Do you know what would be a real sleeper? Waylord Yan Mega. Yes, I have played it before in the past. Uh, yes, I would like to go first. Way Mega. Way Mega was amazing. Because what could you do with it? Um, this was around the time where Zygarde was starting to pick up speed. By the way, Zygarde is a sleeper. Because everything that's fighting weak at this moment in time, all these like Vicar Vault decks and everything like that, Zygarde is the, the, the sleeper deck. If only Karina was... Um, was uh was in, in the format it would be brilliant. <laughs> no passing you is gonna be it can just be completely obliterated um by um a good ninja if anyone is brave enough to play the good ninja I think I've got this one. Right here. So the, the interesting thing is, do you A, put Fury Belt on Tapabulu, or B, put Floatstone? And everyone's going to say, oh, it just ma depends on the matchup, Freddy. Um, but you do have Olympia in this deck as well. Too many good things. Um, too many good things. I might be. Um, I have a feeling that Sidney really might, might be wrong or something, but, um... Okay, no. I need it, actually. What about Heavy Ball in the deck? Blue is 3 Retreat, right? Yeah, but why play Heavy Ball when you can play Nest Ball? Ma I also noticed that uh, 
Sheffield does not have any stadiums. Um, Ether Conservation Area might be interesting in this one. Oh, that's an awesome deck. It really is nice. It really is nice. It is nice. City Rival, Espeon is a really nice deck. Which is another reason why you want to play uh, something like uh, Stage 1, because you know, Stage 1 to GX is if they if they do do Espeon, um, you only lose one price. So. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. I was just trying to figure out what's going on. Eritrail comes along. Okay. Brilliant. That was turn one. That was turn one. Which is ridiculously, ridiculously. Ridiculously. Okay, let's pop that in. That was ridiculous. Ugh. Doop -doo -doo. energy there. Attach two basic energy cards. Discard pile. Yeah, okay, we can do that. And that's where the nice combo is. Yep, let's do that. Arm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to change my mind on that float stone. I think it's a ridiculous idea. I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm going to put Fight Fear Belt on. It just seems to be a good idea. Pop that there. And Flower Supply, because we love flowers. PCGO, why do you force this to happen? Oh, um, if you are going to make a custom card, um, it would have to be like Summer's, Summer's Flareon. But it would have to be a Clefairy for me. Obviously. Never, never far away from the Clefairy. Nah, my man, you're going on Volt. No, I don't like that. I'm not a Volt player. Volk's a sleeper deck, by the way. Everyone has forgotten about Volk. Where's the water in the format? Hey, where's the water? Oh, for goodness sake, he's got Parallel City in play. Jolteon, look at that. 
That's cute. But now he's reduced. I don't understand it, right? He's reduced his damage. Oh, and he can't reduce his damage out because he's not an elemental form, is he? He's not an elemental form. City. Hundred, hundred and twenty would take. Oh, it's just short, just short. Chloris Life GS is just short, just short. Fifty, one hundred, hundred and twenty with Sunny Day, hundred and sixty in total. How old have I got in here? Well, I could nature judgment him. 120, 60, 180. So that does make sense. Well, I'll do that next turn. Um, um, so it will be 120. Which would knock out the Taku Koko. The Sudibudu is doing well now because it's stopping him from getting um, tapu, another Tapu Koko out. Which is nice. And if I do get knocked out, I'm just going to Tapu Lele that Tapu Koko back out. Oh, you know what? I'm dying, this card is amazing. Which one? Which card is amazing? Is he escape roping? What? Okay, absolutely really. It's fine. The one I made. Look, Matt, please. Can it can it can it be a a, a Clefairy or a Clefable? Come on. Because otherwise it will just It will just if you make it a transparent as well and pop it at an angle, it might. Oh. Can you can you just pop it on a clefable, mate? Pop it on the, pop it on a clefable. Make it a, a transparent image, and I'll pop it on the stream. Okay. That escape rope just. This match just completely stuck to this match. Oh, I've just discovered something. Okay, right. What is what is this doing? Then? Right. Okay. No, I don't. I don't want to get rid of that. No, I don't want to discard all the energy. I just want to do nature's judgment. Thirty. Yeah. Nature's judgment. Nope. Please do not discard all the energy. And the Olympia hand is useful as well.
Okay, choose an active. Um, how on earth did he do that, by the way? I didn't see that coming. Um, I should be concentrating on this game. He did that Tuppy Thunder, which is phenomenal. Oh, I see what he did there. Oh, great. Oh, no. What do I do? Um Ugh. Oh, it's a shame you can't max elixir onto Lorantis. Oh that's nice. Twenty forty sixty twenty forty sixty eighteen one hundred twenty hundred and forty. Um... Like a, a Lysander away. I think I've lost the game anyway, but um, we shall see. I won't be able to do anything if I can't play Stone. Um, no, he's played it well. Um, pop that there. Let's just do that. Ah, oh, I think I've lost the game. Anyway. Oh my word! I get the play Stone. GX attack yet? No, I have not used my GX attack. Could be 120. No. Okay. Um. That's on the premise that he does not have a last item, which I very much doubt. He will. He will. Does not have a Lysander, however, this game changes.
It's a choice balance, doesn't it? Ah, he's got he's got all the options. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that field blower last turn. How many field blowers have I been through? Through two. Um. will heal 30 though it will be enough That's the most... No, it's not from Freddy Canyon. I've just had a look at it. Anyway, uh, I don't think I'm playing this deck very well, to be honest. Which is fantastic. Uh, right, okay, let's shrink this. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, 
sometimes a lie is easy to take. <laughs> Hey, we got you. Alright, okay. Let's, uh... Let's progress. Okay. Uh... We have one more hour. One more hour of play testing. It's a tricky deck to play, you know. Because you've got such um such big hitters, I hope it just gives up these formats, but if I can get something decent again. Um do you know what real annoyance is you can't max elixir onto Lorantis. That's twice he started with telephone and he's declined it. I also think my resource management isn't very good. Uh, I have to be really careful here. I could be error blitzed out of this game. It's really unfortunate hand at this moment in time. Uh, I might have to sickle more it away as well. It's just that's awful. I'll give it one more, one more draw. He might end me. Give it one more, one more. He didn't end me, did he? I don't want to have to discard everything. Oh gosh, a shaman. All right, okay, there is a way around this, right? Okay, so, um, There is a way around this, so I would have to um, float stone that. Get the shaman down and then double elixir, which obviously clear. fails, right? All clear. And yes, I could have retreated back, um, but. Uh, Fire in the hole. Awful, 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 awful. Right. Mm, that's so much better for it. Must be structured. That doesn't do anything. Uh, could ultra ball that be the next thing? Hey, darling. Um. And the hex mania, which Division is going to be bomb. useful later. Come on, come on, come on! Get back, get back, get back! Let's just get the bully. Get the bully. Get the bully. Pop that there. Pop that there. Great. Press the 
chat, chat. Um, I'm going to keep that in hand just in case there's some weird way of getting shaman, but uh, it would be nice to... to get the Laurentis GX up. Um, Thirty, fifty, one hundred would knock it out. Okay, need the float stone. Okay, right. Well, that's ideal. Okay. That gives me my retreat. I just realised the audio is a little bit loud, so I do apologise for that. Okay, so I get end. And there is a silent lab around, which is not too bad, not too bad. Okay, 30 goes up to 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm just literally smashing everything now in my pathway. Thing at this moment in time, so I would. Oh, alright, okay. Um, the key is to destroy the tunnel flame. Yeah, let's pop that on Little Mantis. Uh, Do have the rest of the structure as well, so I'm I want to get out of that. Um, So that's a nice glittery Greninja there. <coughs> uh, the other thing that I could do is I could minus a uh, sunny day Lorantis and um, play an extra GX, which is what I saw uh, one player do. 
at uh, an LC. That's a great hand actually, I don't mind like that at all. So what am I being hit every single time? I'm being hit, it's like 70, 40, 21. So I will survive because I can win this ring actually, but uh, the problem is that Greninja is coming up at me, so I just want to just have to watch it. Uh, the other thing is that um, for Mantis is now within uh, Shuriken range. I'm just gonna stay out. And then I'll recycle my Bulu by doing Flower Supply. It's a good thing, good thing that he's got Talonflame active at the moment because then he can't pull off two uh, Shurikens. Okay. Hmm. Can I have a sickle? Yep, got a sickle. Forty, sixty, hundred and twenty. 40, 50, 60, 120. I'm thinking um, what Flower Supply will do. Because Flower Supply is what I want to do at this moment in time. Um, but if I get another Grass Energy, I can just do Solar Blade and just heal for the win. Um, and the interesting thing also is that for Mantis, will uh, find Fury Bell takes it out of range of a shuriken. Right, that field blower is huge. with that because it's going to get knocked out anyway. That field blower is a huge, huge field blower. Um, flower supply will, will work. That's fine. 2200. And that sets up my next tapu. Sixteen hundred and twenty. That's absolutely fine. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Charizard. <laughs> I think your Charizard is better. Your Charizard is good. Brilliant. Oh. So 
I'm gonna end him next. Obvious play is obvious. Then what he will do is he will get something like two. What's he gonna do? He'll get he'll get two. Oh for goodness sake! He'll get two on Shamu. Why will Greninja not die? Sander up his benched one it won't go back and he may not then have a Greninja here's hoping if he does have the Greninja then good luck to him there we go so blade he's got the win condition if he just does two uh, shurikens You'd, you'd think Lurantis can hold its own against Greninja. <sighs> wow, just goes to show. There he's got it. He's done well. Hi Shaman. Shaman is always an Achilles heel against um, Lurantis, uh, against uh, Greninja. But I think I couldn't help it at the time because I had to draw my way out. There he goes. Oh. Ninja, wow. Okay, all right. Let's get a couple more games in. At least we're getting to know. Um, at least we're getting to know this deck. It is a tricky deck. Oh, oh, it's him again, Felix. What was he playing before? I think he played this kind of water box thing with a press. I'm definitely not feeling the too sunny day Lurantis. I think if there was a change that I needed to do, it would be that. Did we just play this guy? Like, what was it? A long time ago. Um, anyway. I definitely have played him today. I don't think I need my sander just yet.
Might as well. I had to play some. I had to play a basic out because um, I needed to stem off the threat of an N. And I think with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus and concentrate on uh, Lamentis, just pure Lamentis. Do I even need to have Sunny Day right now? If I've got Solar Blade going, it's just going to knock out everything, so I'm just going to focus on that. Yeah, forego the Lorantis promo at the moment. Okay, uh, pop the full mantis there. What's the retreat cost of that? Two. What's the retreat cost of that? One. Well, might as well. So I've got the other one. So. If I discard it, I can attach it and do a two energy attach six twenty eighty that saves arguably saves ah uh, shadow stitch and he would have to feel that um That is a 50 to 100. And I need, I definitely, definitely need to get the. The thing is, I've just put that out. Alright, let's pop that out. So I think. Greninja, uh, Greninja is going to um, hit that for what do you call it? Um, Giant Water Shuriken, which is alright. 
because then I can guarantee another energy attach because I didn't have the type of blue at the time this is irking me two seconds So I have to play the Tapibulo, uh, sorry, the uh, Lurantis back in the deck, okay, because I only have two in this build. So do I take the chance and find it? This is the moment where you wish you had Tapicoco promo. Um, all right, need options. I could have found it then. Okay, right. Uh, what do I attach that to? Uh, has to be. Has to be that. And then I could do Nature's Judgment, couldn't I? Um, Eighty would take it to uh, sixty would take it to two ten. Yeah. Let's do that. No, you don't need to discard everything because you got Lurantis. That's fine. And now I've got a multiple threat, which is exactly what I wanted. 20, 40, 60. So he has to take on Tapu Bulu. 200 maybe in retrospect I should have attacked the fighting fury belt but that is fine it will take the heat off the Fernantis on the bench just bait him into trying to attack the type of bully now Oh, 
okay, right. So he can't have got the uh, the stuff that he wanted. Um, attack with full mantis uh, leafage losing only one prize um, silver in the deck desperately need that other Laurentis that's the thing Can't get another Greninja up next turn. So um, two would go up there. Um, okay, right. Let's attack that there. Attach that there. Um, four. And that would attach two basic. So I'll take that out of. Um, out of the way. I'm going to put the Fight Fury Belt on there. So 620 to 10. That takes it out of the zone. And I'll attack with Flower Supply. Put in both on there. Okay. Matt, you still around? Greenwich is such a hard matchup, even though you have weakness. It's the um it's the prize prize exchange. as well. Now this could be interesting. Oh, so he filled blue the So he'll get two prizes off that. I would bring up the um, Tapu Lele up next. Okay. Or I could bring up the for Mantis and bring up the Laurentis again. Yeah, which is what I'm going to do. So 40 to 80. And bring up that Frigadier. Who'll blow that? Done. Um, can Lysander up the bench to all? Bring up the frigadier. Oh, it's charming. What a nice fella. Nature's judgment. Um, 60, 120, 120. Be a seeker. I need, I need more options. And I 
Dearly, I want to get the Lorantis, which I did get, which was brilliant. 40 goes to 60, goes to 80. Ideally, that's fine. But I need that there. Rescue Stretcher, a Formantis could work. He would get one prize, but then it would. Um, it would take heat away from the other. It would take heat away from the uh, Tapu Bulu. If I attach and then do Glorizite, it would knock his uh, Greninja out. Taking me down to two prizes. Chlorosize. I'm going to have to do something. Or I could. Um, 1620. Uh, 1620 would knock that out. I, I, I'm, I'm trying not to rely on doing uh, Tapu Wilderness to, to heal. Okay, right. Let's flower supply. Because I can get one on um, Tapu Bulu. And I can get one on uh, Lurantis. Okay, right. So he's got multiple threats now. Pull off two. He's going to get the Formantis. He must get the Formantis. Oh, he didn't get the Formantis. That opens this up. Uh, 60, 120, 120 takes that out of range as well. Um, do I have hex? Please, do I have hex? I don't have hex. Um, there we go. Save that. It's just too easy a prize to get. Um, three, four in play. Five, six, seven. Uh, what about uh, float stones? How many float stones do I have? Oh, 
high chance of getting one place down. Do I have one place down in here? Uh, I've forgotten. I need the engine. Or is it just a oh, I get the flagstone! Oh my gosh! Eighty, hundred and sixty. Yeah, I will just flower supply. Um, and I'll put one on the active and one on the bench one. Um, bound to happen. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Let's do that one as well. Just thin that deck. Pop it on that one there. And let's try. Attach it to thing is I don't want to be gusted out either but uh, let's just go for it um, me, I've been through my full VS seeker there is an Olympia somewhere so it would help he has to start attacking now So at least he can't uh, Lysander up something from the bench. There goes that. That's absolutely fine. That's two. Has to be game. Yeah. Okay. So happy. So, uh, thanks to um, Pablo, by the way, that was the original uh, original list there, but all you need to do is just scroll, scroll behind the video. So thank you very much. Uh, go to, to everyone. There are a couple of other resources that are available as well. Okay. 
Okay, so here's an here's a second one, right? Um, and I think this is very very close to uh, what um, what one um, Elsie uh, a couple of days ago. So what you could do with this list is and this is what we were kind of thinking about um, you can up the Lurantis GX shrink the type of Bulu down to two if not one play two Shame in EX although in this current format it would be a real risk. Sudo Wheelie I think is good because of uh, threats like Lysander. Um, Full Sycamore staple. Maybe not ending so much. Possibly. As I know it's like late game. Um, I would get end into my own end and it was a bit counter counterintuitive counterproductive um, two hacks mania may be good um, so that's 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 questionable um, fan club is in there obviously Pokemon Center lady is a surprise in inclusion that we could do just to save uh, save some damage um, just get a bit of recursion Skylar is also an option as well um, for the Seeker, Ultra Ball is fine. Some builds do play the Trainer's Mail, just to keep keep it going. But where would you where would you find space for that? You would replace the um, rescue structures. I'm not too sure about it because I really like to recycle my um, um, my Lorantis GXs. Could put a Professor's Letter in there just to keep the. Um, just to keep the energy flow going. So there were a few times where I was thinking, where's my energy? Um, Skylar into Professor's Letter will, will allow that. This doesn't play a revitalizer, so maybe a revitalizer might actually be a better in the, uh, inclusion in place of the rescue stretch. But you know when you're playing re revitalizer, what are you really looking for? Um, I definitely love to feel blower in it. I don't think that should change. Choice bands might be something a little uh, more to my own personal liking compared to uh, Fury Belt. I don't like Fury Belt's role in this one. Only just to say, oh, I think you can play Fury Belt just to save yourself from damage. But I really would like. To retreat in that sense and I'd also like to play choice bands in there as well so I think that would probably be the first I can understand that change and some builds also play uh, three uh, forest of giant plants and uh, so that one is um, uh, that that's taken from Omnipoke so Jack put up um, uh, a video on the 24th of April actually And I can I can see where that where that is uh, where that is heading towards. Um, so what would be my final one? I still think that Tapu Bulu is phenomenal in this deck, but maybe just tone it down to two at the expense of three. I might have to trade for another one. Hold on a second. Uh, oh my goodness me! I don't even have one. Okay, right, so I will have to change that. I'd probably do that. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably probably switch to uh, three. I'd just definitely, definitely need that. Um, what else could you do? I like the idea of shrinking the N. I do like that. Um... Not sure about the hex mania going up to two. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that one. Uh, Sent a lady. Hmm, not before that. 
choice band I would like to see uh, go up to three I think that's gonna be I think to get the numbers up to where you want the numbers to be I think that's, that's quite important um, fighting fury belt don't think fury belt mm, well because what you want to do is you want to you want to put the energy on the bulu and then do do like big hits with nature's judgment and then retreat so in that sense what would happen so if you had nature's judgment 120 let's say for example you have one of the Lorantis out 140 if you did have fewer about it would be 150 150 what does 150 take on these days um but if you have choice band it'll be 170 which is a magic number and if you really wanted to take something out you would do 180 plus 20 would be 200 180 200 that would take you in the zone of taking out things like um Tolgario. that's an interesting one I don't know pop on the chat if you're there have a look Does this need a counter stadium? Now I'll tell you one thing. Counter stadium was um or something I was after with certain um certain choices. Hmm. And I do like the Olympia in here as well. The Olympia is a real insurance option. Just in case something is uh, is locked in the active, like Tapu Bulu, I think Olympia is a really, really good option for that. Uh, is this a personal? It's a choice, really, of personal preference. Um, High flow stone count would support things like Sudowidi, Lorantis. Okay, got that there. So would you want to go down the route of High Hex Mania? Why High Hex Mania? Hex Mania would help because you could try uh, just to slow your opponent down in that first turn. So I can, I can definitely see the benefits of something like that um four second one two n two months and uh one second one second one, one sky why would you play sky we were definitely hitting the elixir counts as well the problem also with elixir is that it doesn't allow you to uh, attach to your own um, Lorantis GX but you're able to um, set up with Lorantis and then um, attach to your uh, Tapu Bulu which I quite like however late later on in the game what was happening was that I was just elixiring just for elixiring sake Oh, I didn't really like that. Um, okay, right. So uh, the the version that's um, so that that's that was Pablo's version. The version that's on Omnipoke um, features those three. So so this is the line. They actually drop down to one Tapabulu because you can recover. You don't really want to start with Tapabulu. Let's put it that way. So it is it is um, ideal. And we've got two Shaman Yaks there. See, I think it's shame it's still the liability, but uh, four Sycamore, two N, two Lysander, two Hex Maniac, one Pokemon Fan Club, one Center Lady. I still like, I still like the Olympia. Uh, I think the Olympia is sh and should go in the place of uh, Center Lady. I like that. And they played like they played one Skylar, so let's put Skylar in.
just for test sake. But I'll be interested to test out the Skyler version for the SC car, it's fine. They do cut out the Max Elixir. Okay, um, I might have to cut out an energy. Um, but I do like this. this on there. Four VSC car, four Ultra Ball, three trains. And I do play three trains now as well. Just for that extra speed, which is interesting. Okay, alright. Let's put the trains now on. Which is quite useful because I've got three reverse highs. Um, to revitalizer. Now I do like revitalizer. I think revitalizer does have a place in this deck. Um. And they play Revitalizer instead of Rescue Stretcher, and most of the time I didn't really want to Super Rod. I think Super Rod is counterproductive because if you play it early, if you have it early in your hand, you don't want to Super Rod your energies. So it's just it's just in the discard pile for no reason at all. So I can see where Super Rod's uh, mission comes about. Um, Why on earth did I put a sail fossil in there, by the way? No idea why that goes. Uh, right, okay, three choice band, two float stone, three choice band, two float stone. And they also found space for forest of giant plants. So that's. I do like rescue stretcher. Rescue stretcher is really, really nice. So, but then what would you use in that place? I like Rescue Stretcher in the sense that it's like a half revitalizer, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to keep Rescue. Um, okay, right, let's just compare this one again. Four Sycamore, 2N, 2 Lysander, 2 Hexmaniac, 1 Fan Club. Yeah, they're all solid additions. I prefer Olympia over Santa Lady. Skylar. Skylar is in there. Fulvia Seeker. Four Ultra Ball. Three Trainers Mill. I'm going to go 1 1 Rescue Stretcher re Revitalizer. Professor's Letter could go in there. I prefer to Field Blower, however. Three choice band, two flight stone, and maybe two stadiums. Maybe two stadiums, two stadiums, maybe. Forest of Giant Plants. Because you have the sky there as well to search for it, so. Possibly, 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 possibly. Let's give it a try. If that was to be the case, then I would have to drop something. It'd have to be the field blow, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay, right. So that would be uh, my version at the moment, which is fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go off and uh, try and trade heavily for um, Little Lorantis. Thank you very much if you've been watching or you watched part of this. Um, it is a road test, so there were quite a few misplays. I can, you know, this is the first time I'm actually playing playing that deck. I think it's really really important to. To test things out like that. Um, I hope there's been some useful time spent having a look at it, um, and see if I can be going uh, coming on uh, 
in future, I'm just going to have a look and see what the um, what the matchups were like. Say goodbye if you're on the um, if you're on the on the chat. Be nice to know that you're there. Okay. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.